Hello folks, thanks for joining me today. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be upgrading my scroll saw blade holders. Um, I get quite a few questions asking me about where I get the, blade, the pinless blade holders from. Well, I'll just show you a picture of mine in a moment. What started happening with mine at the minute now is my bottom blade holder keeps pinging off. Uh, it's really annoying, it's adding time on to my uh, projects when I'm doing them. So I was looking around and I found these on Axminster website. Um, I've seen somebody do this modification on another scroll saw similar to mine. Um, I know they will work on a Shep Hatch, um, the Jet ones, they if your model looks like my arms on my scroll saw, this modification will work on yours. Um, this isn't a sponsored video. I purchased these from Axminster Tools in the UK. Um, for two of these items, it cost me £12.91. That was included with the postage as well. Um, these are a blade holder, a fret saw, pinless blade holders they're called. Uh, that's the item there, and these actually replace the cheap silver arms what are, are fitted to your scroll saw when you buy them from the shop. Uh, I'll just put the camera down and show you these ones on mine. These are the holders what come fitted. I'll just take this off. These are the holders what come fitted with this machine and many other machines what are similar to this. Uh, they're just a piece of bent steel what's coated in a silver paint which comes off and if it chips it's quite sharp. Uh, these do have quite a bit of flex in them when you put the tension on them and they accept pin blades. Now I was lucky enough when I got my machine as I got a set of pinless blade holders and I made this modification I got a friend to weld this washer on here so it, I didn't have to use an allen key every time I wanted to change a blade but the bottom blade holder which is underneath the table it actually keeps coming off now uh, it's getting worn and it's a pain every time you slacken the tension off the bottom blade holder is pinging off so I'm going to make this modification and also to buy one of these they're hard to get hold of I can only find Draper who make them and from what I was looking at they're about £18 each and they're never really in stock so I'm going to be doing away with this system and changing it to this system. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take this top piece off, this silver piece, and do away with that, and that's going to replace it. So you get the actual blade holder. You get two Allen keys and you get a shake proof washer so I'm going to put the shake proof washer on one of the allen bolts and then there's two ways these can go on you've got a threaded side and a side what's not got any threads in you want the side without the threads in like so I'm going to tighten it up too tight at the minute until I get the bottom one in place.
as you can see, I'm going to replace in the bottom arm, which is here. That's the bottom blade holder. And what keeps happening with mine is it keeps sliding off. Every time I slacken the tension off, it keeps pinging off and it's annoying. It is a little bit fiddly to get your hands in there, but you can do it. As you can see, that's been replaced in there. Just gonna try and tighten it up then. Right, that's tight. And there you go. So now instead of using these, you just use the arms. And also by using these you're not getting as much flex. Because when you tighten the tension up on the back, this is flexing. You can see it's moving there. But then when you slacken the tension off, this part, when that's upside down there, keeps falling off like so so when you're trying to feed your blade through your workpiece it forever keeps falling off and it's an absolute pain in the ass so by doing it this way you only have to slacken the top one off and the blade stays where it is so you slacken your tension off Take your blade out, feed your blade through, and that's staying in place, it's not dropping off. See? And then just push your push your arm down a little bit, put your blade in the gap, and tighten it up, put your tension on. Makes it a lot better. So it's just a quick little video for you there. Um, that was one of the things what I was waiting for coming from uh, Axminster for trying to make my saw a little bit better than it was. So hopefully now I can uh, do things a little bit quicker on the, on the scroll saw without having to keep taking the side cover off to replace the uh, blade holder on the bottom um, it's just going to be a case of undo the top part put the blade through my workpiece and there you go so for the sake of £13 um, it's worth doing for me it is anyway but, uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share the video and uh, we'll see you again in another one thanks for joining me